feel like I'm, I'm proud, of, proud of what I wear, right? And I think people forget, you know, it's not just a fad, but people buy it as well because they make a connection with the brand. There's no other way, it's just Jeff Netbird. Everything he does, just like, I, I can't, I don't have words. No, and I'm shocked right now. I can't believe it. It's an incredible moment for my life. I booked a flight just to come here and meet Mark. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. I've said this before, I'll say it again. And I believe there's two types of people. Person A, for example, their body controls their mind, so their body starts hurting, their feet start hurting, they start getting blisters. That person A, like their body controls their mind. Their body tells their mind when to stop. Person B, their mind controls their body. My heart beat right now is at 162. When shit gets hard, when your feet hurt, when your legs hurt, when your heart hurts, when your lungs hurt, your mind just drives through that. Your mind takes that as fuel and says, all right, we'll, we'll take that and we'll run with it. I got the sauce of success. Actually, no free bond deals up in here. <laughs> Hell no. How's the jet lag? There is none. No, there was last night. Both man stayed home, being responsible, went to bed at 8 p.m., and I'm ready to go. I knew it was going to be a busy day, and I didn't want to pull train and iron cardio together. Man's on prep, man I have to do a lot of cardio, so I decided to knock it out today. Well, this morning at 5 a.m., I think. Dedication. Day one of the expo, we're about to head there. Just had breakfast, yeah. caffeined up a little bit, and we're ready to meet everyone, hang out, and uh, have a good time. So we'll see you there. Really, I got no problem with any of it. They falling like Adam, I had to get above it. I need nobody, your mention really nothing. I see pretend there's no end to all your bluffing. Ooh, on my back, don't see your name on my back. I would never turn my back. Easy, Lou, you so like that. Ooh, where you going? Where you rolling? They want it, but I'm glowing. Are you going? I definitely feel the love in Toronto, though, for whatever reason. It's crazy. I love it here. I'm excited to see what it's like this year. I mean, I like this expo because it's a little more low-key like it's not quite as mad as the Arnold so you can actually get to talk to people and stuff oh. 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 Wait, 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 wait. wait third one's a charm you never know let's go guys oh, Let's God, I don't need y'all. I ain't get your text, you sound like blah blah blah. I don't need the games, I'm finna take the reins. I'ma write up your claims, I'ma fuck with your name. Yeah. There's something about like, I feel like Canada, I don't know, it's just like, I feel home already, so I'm like super like comfortable, I feel like energized, that it, I'm not so jet lagged. It's nice to see like people, not just a comment or like a like or something, and like be able to create something real, so I just said to him like, Let's create something real. Like, ask me anything you want. I'm here for that. You want to pick? You want to, you know, you want to talk about like your your dog? Let's do it. You know, I'm just here to connect, and that's what it's nice. Ooh, that's God. I don't need y'all. I ain't get your text. You sound like blah blah blah. I don't need the games. I'm finna take the reins. The expo has been amazing so far. So many people came to meet us. It's very crazy to see how my story impacted other women. How my breast implant illness journey inspired them not to get implants or to get their implants removed. I'm beyond words when I meet these girls and they say I changed their life in a positive way, so it's very humbling. See, it looks like I'm holding in a fart. Well, come check it out. Let's see if it's an accurate depiction of me. I don't know exactly what I'm doing in my face or what I'm holding in right now, but this is the face of a constipated man pre-workout. First day at the expo. You know what? 
You can't get any better than this. I finished the expo, I ate a quest bar, and I get a new pair of boots. What the heck? Ooh. Hey guys, my name is Kath, and I'm with Nick today, and we're training legs. So we started with leg extension and leg curl. So what are the reps? All right, so it is 100 reps on extensions, 100 reps on leg curls, typically broken up into five sets of 20 reps each, and then we'll get into the volume stuff. So this is like a quick burn. Um, Warm up. Pre-exhaustion <laughs> exercises. Amazing. But here we go. All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be hitting a back and biceps workout. Mark and I are gonna crush it. We're gonna start off with a vertical pull. So we're actually gonna, well, before we get into the vertical pull, we're gonna do a pre-activation exercise just to get the muscles nice and loosened up. So we're gonna start with some slow controlled reps. We're really gonna focus on squeezing first. Then we're gonna get into our first compound exercise, which is gonna be a wide grip pull up. And that's gonna be our main vertical pull for the day. So catch up with you guys in a minute. So next up, first actual like working set or exercise is Bulgarian split squats with dumbbells. So essentially, you're doing one leg at a time, 10 reps each leg, four sets total. Now we're gonna break down the Bulgarian split squat a little bit and show you how to make it more effective. Typically, for most people, when you have your feet a little further, it's gonna target your glutes a little more. And when you have your feet a little bit closer, you're gonna feel it more in your quads. So most girls kind of focus on the glutes, guys on the quads, but most guys also want nice glutes. But uh, you're gonna feel it when you do it. It's a different feeling. Um, but yeah, I also got a tip for not feeling the back leg that much. Yeah, so I think a lot of people, the problem I see is when people do Bulgarian split squats, their question is, well, where am I supposed to feel it? One of those things is like, experiment with how far you push that target leg out. So one leg is gonna be on a bench, the other leg is the target leg or the working leg. Experiment with distance away from that bench to see where you feel it most in your quad and your glute to try it out. Meadows row. I love this movement. This is actually Mark's idea. So basically what you want to do here is stagger against the end of the barbell, load it up um, kind of like you would with a T-bar row, and you're going to row the barbell out to your side. So it's a very trap and rear delt dominant row. You're going to row, row out to your side. And what you should do is for your first set or two, don't use any straps or anything because this is like a fat bar, so it's really going to tax your forearms. But if your grip strength starts to fatigue, then I like to strap in for the heavier sets just to make sure your grip doesn't become the limiting factor you can actually fully tax your back so get a staggered stance brace your core keep a neutral back lower back and then pull out to the side Mexico City, really? just to come here to Toronto is shocked right now. I can't believe it. It's an incredible moment for my life. It's surreal. It's like kind of like a body high, just meeting Mark. Um, just humble, down to earth. Like if someone, like a leader, uh, someone I look up to. So someone I strive towards who motivates me to do things that are like everyday life to just and just seeing to what he's built now is knowing that like he can do it, like I, I can do it as well. I'm supporting someone who's been a real big part of my life. Um, Mark and Kath have been amazing. They're so authentic and a lot of people are just kind of about looking good. He's about feeling good. Soon as she, she got me, I think it was this one first. Yeah. 
and since then it's like only where like the material is probably one of the biggest things and then just the way it fits and such a hard time because like my waist is a bit smaller my shoulders are bigger and nothing really fits me proportionally rise stuff is just uh it's perfect everyone knows rise you know so it's great to wear something that like people know and you're like yeah you feel good you know just got my first t-shirt from rise so big fan now for me i kind of find it hard with my body proportions kind of hard to find uh, the right clothing. So this one, it kind of, it's not too tight, but it's not too loose, so it fits really well on me. That's what I really like about it. Actually, I really like the material. It's super soft. It feels awesome. Yeah. Like, seeing it on the website was one thing. That's one thing I was smart, uh, I was like a little iffy on. I came here, I saw how it looked, and I tried it, and I'm like, it's, it's, it just compliments, it's hugging. I've been getting compliments just, or just wearing it, so it's just, it just makes me feel like a different person in a way. You just said that you can do 100 push-ups right now. I, I can do 100 push-ups No, right don't now. do that yet. Where, where are we at that. now? Right here. I'll pull over right here. I'll do it. Okay. Nothing, said you wanted to push-up competition. Ain't right? nothing to it. But to do it. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me, get, let me get my headphones. We're on the core of Dufferin and Glass Karen. Let's <laughs> go, baby. Where's Jack? What is happening, man? <laughs> this should be interesting. The only authorized rest position is either your butt in the air or you sag in the middle. <laughs> Nick, I thought you were going to dominate. What's up? Where you at? Come on, Jay. 97. Come on, two more, man. Oh, yeah. oh get it! Yes. Wow. I could not have got one more. Yeah. Chest pump after that, man. Oh, yeah. So good. Oh. Yeah. Woo! Yay. Not gonna lie, not the right, best, bro. not the best like yeah. voice of pain. This is a truth pick right here. <laughs> <laughs>